Hi guys, this is Dead, Dead on Studios, and we are going into our annual, <laughs> our annual monthly myths. That means we've been doing this for a year. We just actually started doing the recording and the posting on YouTube, so unfortunately that's not at the year mark, but hey, we'll get there eventually. So, um, we actually are going to be working on the, um, uh, the Manandanandagel. I don't know how to freaking say it. <laughs> the Man- Manandanandagel. Everybody jokes and just calls it the Mandangle. <laughs> so, you'll hear that joke th periodically throughout the stream. Uh, this next month's myth is actually Shiva. So, yeah, so that's exciting. So, if you want to take part in Marches, it is Shiva. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this particular stream. Hey guys! How's it going? <laughs> yeah! How are you guys? <laughs> Let me know if you can hear Punky alright. Make sure she's coming in all right for you guys. Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess we should say hi to everyone. Let's start at the top here. Hi, Ethelisha. Hi, Monk. Um, hi, BJ. Um, hi, Becky. Hi, Zell. Hi, Rihanna's. And Kodiak Kid, hey! And Me Mouse. Lurkmaster, Unpredictable Artist, hi guys, hey Zeus, Pastel, so many people. Okay, so I didn't do something right before I started, so let me let me do this real quick. Okay. I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna double check to make sure uh, that we didn't miss any submissions. So well, Punky oh, yes. introduces herself. I know you guys know Punky, but but let's go through this. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Hey y'all. I am Erin. I go by Punky Dumplin' on here and everywhere. I am badass artist extraordinaire. <laughs> and also, I fairly regularly uh, submit for the monthly myths, so I am here to host again, y'all. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Back by popular demand is like what I say. Like what I want to say. <laughs> I'm too cute. Nobody can stay away. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't know if you guys missed it, but Punky is also on YouTube, on TikTok, and uh, she is also a Twitch streamer here. And if you're not following her in those places, please do. She's also on Insta. <laughs> do you, do you want to drop your link tree in the in the chat by any chance, Punky? Uh, give me half a second. I have to go pull it up, but that I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> These are the things I should ask for before stream, and I always forget. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Don't even worry about it. And guys, this is the annual. I don't know if you are aware, but we've been doing this for a whole fucking year. <laughs> it's been a <laughs> year. So this is uh, the anniversary one. There you go. There was my link tree. So if you want to follow me on all the stuff. Yeah, so there's Spunky's link tree, guys, if you want to go and follow her a whole year. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Alright, so now we are to the point where we can start the first one. Um, I'm ready. Do you want to read the first one since uh, I'm a... Uh, my computer's Didn't all being a jerk. <laughs> hold on. Oh my gosh, hold on a second. Let's, uh, let's see if my computer can handle this, because I'm trying to make it bigger. There we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> there we go. I'm ready. All right. All right. So, first one is by Evolution. Uh, title is Feeling the Power. The women of, pre of the pre Hispanic era were given importance. They could even hold high characters in communities like healers, priestesses, and they could even handle leadership roles and fight as warriors. The glorious years of the women were destroyed when the Spanish arrived during the 16th century. They brought with them their own idea of what a woman is and where she is supposed to be placed in society. From men and women being equal, women were turned into objects of suppression. 
I read this when the Manan Nangal story started. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. So do you want me to start? Yeah, go ahead and or start. Or do you want to start? Yeah, start. All right. So first off, I love the composition and the lighting that you have on this, Evolutia. The the back, back lighting is a pain in the biscuits, and <laughs> you did a fantastic job on that. I also really like the fact that you have her in like a really nice pristine white dress that's all bloodied up on the bottom because of the fact that she separates herself. Love. And the hair. <laughs> I love the hair on this. So I think it's a fantastic piece. Yeah, I, I really love the the way you did the clouds. Um, you have like the moon back there where it's got more of a beaming light around it. Really love that. I mm -hmm. cannot stop staring at her ribs. I don't know why, but I really like <laughs> what you did there. And you can see a little bit of the spinal cord coming out. Um, she's got this long snake tongue, <laughs> which is really cool. I like her. I yeah, I love her concept, and I really like this uh, style. I haven't seen you do a whole lot of humanoids, so I was really excited about this, Felicia. Like, I'm like, yay, human! <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think you did really good. And yeah, just overall the composition um, with the way that you have the wings and just yeah, the curls. I love the curls. Mm -hmm. So this overall is a really cute piece. She's cute, but creepy. <laughs> Agreed. Um, I guess uh, we should move to uh, chat and see what they have to say. Um, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. Um, Pastel says, this is awesome. I love her hair in the background. Becky says, I love this. Juan says, oh snap. I hope I'm not late. You're not late. <laughs> Um, I love the yeah. tearing of the shirt showing the ribs and the hair is gorgeous. Yes. Um, Mimao says, I'm also really drawn to the detail in the torso. I know, I can't stop looking at it. And let's see. Um, <laughs> um, Monk says, I love it. She looks so men meniscal. What? <laughs> Am I reading that wrong? Where is it? My break. Um... Am I <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> Maniscule? Am I missing some of chat? Oh no, is your chat not working? I'm seeing... Oh, maniacal, I think is what they were saying. Man okay, maniacal. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's this. Okay, <laughs> we learned how to draw pictures, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's where my talents lie. <laughs> Not reading. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Art Elias says, very cool, looks great. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was a challenge, says Epelusha. Well, I think you did really good. Oh my gosh, your emotes! I haven't seen the bunny emote. Oh. That's super cute. Oh. Yay. Uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. Let me fix the bot. Sorry about that. All right. So let's come back here. Say hi to the peoples that have come in. Hi, Arda Elith. Welcome in. And did I say hi, Juan? Hi, Juan. And I think Autumn just came in too, so hi Autumn! Hi Autumn! I'm fixing the bots, and hi Orange! I don't know if I said hi to Orange either. Hi! <gasps> <laughs> I know! <laughs> Guys, check out Arta Elioth. Arta Elioth is a, um, an art streamer. Check out Juan. Juan is also an art streamer. And check out Autumn. Um, they have an Insta that you should check out. Um, guys, this is this was Evolution's piece that we looked at um, just moments ago. Evolution is a streamer. Go and give her a follow and give her lots of love as well. Um, I'm sorry, I mean to do that. I mean to do that when the picture is up and I forgot. So guys, go and check out Evolution's work. And uh, mm. 
Yeah, and go and check out Orange Drawers as well. Guys, remember, if you are, if we're looking at your art, feel free to plug stores, Etsy's, anything like that where people might buy these prints. Um, it doesn't even have to be the print of this one, just anywhere people can buy your art. Um, link trees, anything like that. Um, when we're looking at your stuff, this is a good time to self-promote yourself. And, um... Agreed. Yeah, so, just keep that in mind. So we're gonna move to the next one. Um, Evolusha, please feel free to plug your stuff, um, if you would like, before we move to the next piece, though. I'm gonna give you a few seconds just to make sure. I'm sorry, I, I keep forgetting to do that. I wanna make this more, like, um... I don't know, more supportive <laughs> than it already is, which is... Yeah, we'll get there, we'll get there. It's been a year. <laughs> Yay, there's a link tree, guys. Check out the link tree that is Evolutia's. Please follow her on all of those socials and go and check out her work. Yay, I love the link trees. Guys, by the way, thank you so much for using the link trees. You saved me so much work. So much work when I'm uploading things, by the way. Love those okay, link I'll trees. remember that. <laughs> I will put the link for you next time. I just keep putting Instagram in because I'm a fool. But <laughs> <laughs> you're okay. You're okay. Okay. So this next one is um, Christopher, um, Christopher Mayart, and this is like blows me away, guys. You gotta see this. Yeah. Okay, so this is Christopher's, and it says, um, Vampire. I use ZBrush for sculpting and poly painting, texturing the model and mar marmoset tool bag? Tool bag? I've never heard of that. For, for lighting and rendering. You can watch the sculpting time lapse in this model on my YouTube. You know, honestly, oh. you could probably have submitted the YouTube. Um, yeah, I, I forget to mention that, guys. You can submit YouTubes just as long as they're under two minutes. Um, and they're actually very much, like, appreciated, especially when it comes to 3D models and sculpts. But look at this! Oh my gosh! The way that Seriously. this skin is painted... Oh my gosh, it has that like transparent um, like look when they talk about skin, like the blues and the reds mm -hmm. underneath all the skin tones. And like the attention to detail, like if you look at the arm, the arm has like this veinage and, and just beautifulness under it. Like not to mention the sculpt itself is like amazing. Oh my gosh, I, um, I can't Seriously. say enough about this piece. <laughs> like look at the face. Oh my gosh. Just everything about this is gorgeous, and he has a, um, he has another one too, guys, if you go to the site, there's another, uh, like a, uh, a close-up on the face, um, a, a link that he also included, and as an extra link. Um, really cool, I freaking love this piece, I can't, I'm just like, I, there's so much good about it that it's funny that I'm having a hard time saying anything about it because it's so cool. <laughs> The anatomy, I mean, wow. And Punky, go really? ahead. <laughs> like, All right, so first off, your musculature on this. Like, just the definition of, like, say, the bicep right here. And the thing that I love the most about the skin that you have going on here is the yellowing in it. Like, it looks like fading bruises, which is really cool because of what the Mananangal does. So it looks like fading fading bruises which means running out of blood <laughs> and like the teeth the teeth <laughs> i am just i am absolutely blown away because i suck at 3d modeling zbrush still like everybody's like oh yeah zbrush is easy no it's not so this Yay. is phenomenal work seriously a plus <laughs> Yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. And guys, uh, Chris is on uh, TikTok, and I believe that Chris also streams. Let me let me hit this link tree. I'm apo I'm gonna apologize because I'm not sure what's gonna. Um, looks like YouTube and TikTok. So not on not on Twitch yet. Maybe one of these times we'll convert Chris. <laughs> Chris right. Christopher will be converted. But yeah, so we have a TikTok and a YouTube. So um, because Chris isn't here, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the link tree. 
for you guys uh, to check out more of his stuff. He does have time lapses on his TikTok, so go and um, go support him and his beautiful, beautiful art here. Um, but yeah, let's move to chat and see what do they have to say. Uh, let me Hi. see. <laughs> Um, Art Iliad says, wow, freaking awesome. Um, Evolution says, he is so realistic. That is an amazing job. Juan says, this is wicked cool. Becky says, that's fucking badass. Yeah, yes, definitely. <laughs> Female Agreed. says, this is absolutely terrifying, like in a good way. Yeah, I agree with that too. Um, mm -hmm. Pastel says, this is absolutely insane. The details are amazing and terrifying, so realistic. Right? Um, Monk says, this is dope as fuck, and face alone is absolutely amazing. Hezu says, killed no. it on the proportions, would fit yes. so well in a game. Oh my gosh, yes. Totally agree with that. For serious. Yeah, so guys, definitely go and check out Chris. Okay, so we're gonna come back over here. Oh, sorry, excuse me. That's okay. Yeah, so I believe that was uh, Chris's first submission. I can't wait to see more. I can't Seriously, wait to see more. that was fantastic. Yeah. I'm so <laughs> and, uh, let's see. Such a buff boy. <laughs> yes. Yes, very much buff boy. I did like that there was someone else in there uh, who said, hot damn, and I'm like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hot <Yeah>. damn. <laughs> Uh, creatively, I'm Emma. Hey, welcome in. Let me see hey, if anyone else came in. Alright. I love seeing first submissions. Oh, there was so many this time. Um, guys, we had uh, 16 submissions, which is a lot lower than okay. normal, but a lot of them were new. New submitters, which was really exciting, so... That is exciting. All right, so the next one is Spider. Punky, I'm gonna let you read this one because Spider likes to put them big words in there to try to make me struggle. So and, and we're gonna pretend like I'm good at this. So y'all yeah, just remember that supposedly I'm the good one at this. <laughs> Punky's the good one at this. Well, I'm not pretending. <laughs> Hi, Italian monkey. <laughs> Welcome in Italian monkey. Okay, let's uh, go with this seal. Okay, and this one's spiders. All right. So the title of this one is The Guide. And uh, Spider says, please check the PM for the MP3 file named Manandangal. All music used is copyright free. Oh, he has music with it too. Yeah, I, uh, um, he didn't, he didn't uh, give me any music, so I'm confused about that, but yeah, go ahead. Hmm. All right, poor Richard. Our expeditious studies have moved us southward. I have, as you've seen, been leaving you a bread trail within these journal entries highlight my various exotic encounters. You will arrive along an old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the tired countryside, leading only, I fear, to ever more stagging places. This rock and path <laughs> leading near the river has a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles. At the end lies the notice of region. It is a cancer that has grown in the village, verily dispatching the youth and breaking the familial ties. She posed as a guide. A guide she was to a grave, marked with my likeness. Escape seems distant. I beg of you. The ink is smeared on the last sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, first off, Spider is an amazing storyteller when it comes to his mythos. Um, do you want me to start on this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Alright, so I, I love this piece of Spider's. Like, the perspective on it, and I don't know if you guys can see the hand hanging off of her forearm along with the line trail to her torso. Just fantastic work. He, he has been doing so much work on the backgrounds to these, and it has just been flooring me how much he's 
how much growth I've seen just since he started doing the monthly miss with us. I think it is fantastic work. Probably one of his best pieces that I've seen so far in it. I agree. I, I mean, I really love her face too. Yeah. Like the way he drew her face. She's so cute and right. <laughs> very creepy. I love the way he did her eyes. Like they're the little diamonds inside of the white, which just adds right. this like really like glow to it. Even though there is no glow, it's a glow. And right. um, like you said, the torso, but look at the way he made the torso sit. Just like, <laughs> it's just, it's super cool <laughs> attention to detail. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. yeah. Waifu. Waifu, yeah. He's, he does the waifus. That's, that's what he says. These are his <laughs> waifus. And, uh, <laughs> the waifu mythos. Um, but yeah, she is, she's gorgeous. Um, I love how he put, like, a whole, like, costume design around her, which, um, the ones previously, I didn't feel like there was much, like, attention to the costumes. Um, actually, I think that the... The Krampus also had a really cool costume and fashion. Yeah, um, if I remember it, it did. Yeah, yes. so this one also, so I like that he's really dabbling and in jumping into fashion as well as background design. So like, he's really like pushing himself and Spider, this is amazing. It looks great. And mm -hmm. I love what you did. Love, love, love what you did with the hand, how it's reaching so much closer. And then we've got like an arm on it. Like that is, that is beautiful for shortening gorgeous for shortening and difficult and you're pushing yourself by doing that and I, I love that you're pushing things back in perspective and challenging yourself with that it's it's gorgeous and I hope that you keep doing more perspective pushing like that and mm -hmm. I agree like he's growing so much so much within this last okay. year so I'm really excited and guys um, go and check out spider um, Spider is a streamer here on Twitch. Um, he does games and he also does like sketch work. So definitely go and uh, check out Spider. And uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see what chat has to say. All right. Um, Pastel <laughs> says, "I love this pose and the story. Um, I love the depth perception and traditional clothing. Great job, Spider." Says Jesus. Uh, Pastel, it's also amazing that you can see her legs and she that she left behind. I know, that's a really cool concept. Uh, Becky says, great work, Spider. Uh, Juan says, nice details and perspective. Evolution says, awesome shading. And the angel. Um, angle. The, the angle, angle. The angle. The angle. Oh, okay. She picked the down lower. I see, I see. I was like, what? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Me Mouse says, lots of great texture. Um, mm -hmm. Autumn says, Spider makes all of these look like waifus. Welcome in, Raiders. Yeah, thank, you. thank you for the raid, XR. Welcome in. Oh, shit. And, um, and Monk says, I don't notice the diamond pupils. I need to put up a larger version so that I can appreciate these more. Yes, I'm glad I have them in big screen so I can see them. Right. All right, so uh, let's uh, come back here. And guys, if you do not provide me with a link, I do I don't have anything to at least pay, um, copy and paste and put into chat. So please remember to give me your links. That's why I said link trees are amazing. So please, please, please links. And uh, welcome in raiders. Um, how was your stream, XR? Um, thanks for raiding on a reveal day. Let me say hi to some people that have come in. Um, Dr. Witch, hey, welcome in. And uh, guys, go and check out um, Creatively Emma. Uh, they do art. Um, and also check out... Uh, check out Italian Monkey, a game streamer. And Ixar just raided us. And check out uh, Ixar as well, he's a game streamer. And see you. Thank you for the host one. Oh, am I hosting you? Am I dumb? Oh, <laughs> rude. rude. <laughs> so rude. Okay, thank so you for the rude. host. <laughs> you I'm don't have to host here. me. <laughs> <laughs> the nerves is an <laughs> <Hey>, Zeus. <laughs> I know, right, Zeus? Right, like... 
the hell? <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so I think we've said hi to everyone, and we're gonna jump into the next one. Sorry, guys. Um, streams are a little bit different for the real reveal streams. Um, if I'm not saying hi to you right away, I apologize. We just I don't want to break away too much from um, distraction from the the people's work that we're looking at. Um, so I try to say hi on the break. So. I feel bad for the people that don't know that and then just left because they were like, she's not even saying hi to me. <laughs> right. Um, have a good night, everyone. I have some studying to do in the early morning. Love all your faces and catch the VOD for sure. All right, Monk, have a good one. Have a good, good night. night Enjoy your studying. Love your face. Well, Punky is live somewhere on the platform. People should know where she is. <laughs> well, if she's hosting, nobody knows. Um, you had a fun D&D &D stream. Gonna lurk. All right, no problem, Mixar. Thank you again for the raid. All right, so let's move to the next one. Oh, the next one is Autumn's. All right. I love Okay, so Autumn says, Pug Manandigal. Um, Jagger is the best friend of a Manandigal, so his master turned him into one as well. So he can live forever. How can you say no to that face? <laughs> uh, we'll color it someday, but wanted to get something out to you guys this month um, was me moving. Yeah, I know you were moving. Um, made it into a coloring page for the Kofi supporters. The, for the Kof, for the Kofi supporters. What is Kofi? Um, Kofi but is similar to Patreon, but not exactly. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, guys, this is Autumn's link tree. Um, you can also check out. Uh, ways to uh, support her like she's got commissions and uh, like some uh, I think she might have I don't see an Etsy in there but I know that she's got a store I know she's got a red bubble but yeah guys um this is this is beautiful autumn <laughs> I the torso looks completely shredded <laughs> right I really like that you did that with the touch, and then you also got the uh, shredded cape. Are they wearing it? It looks like they're wearing a cape as well. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is a cape. It's a cape, and then we've got some uh, wings here. We've got some bats flying off to the side, sitting on a cloud. I love the derp. It's cute. So yeah, I'm really, really? I'm really liking this, and I, I can't wait to see you finish this one, Autumn, if you plan to. Mm hmm. All right, so my big thing that I love the most about this autumn is the pose you have, uh, Jagger in that, that, oh. <laughs> I, I love it. I also really love the detail work you did on the wings, like the little claws at the end. Like, I guess they, they're kind of like fingernails on bat wings. So, but no, I think this turned out so good. And I will be excited to see it when it's colored, too. Yes. Um, and let's move to chat and see what people have to say. Jesus says, um, holy hell, this is cute, with a chicken emote. <laughs> let's see. Um, Evolution says, the idea of a best friend is just awesome, I love it. Aww. Aww. And, uh... Um, Art Elias says, this is super cute. And Pastel says, this looks awesome, Autumn. I love that you keep adding Jagger into these myths. It makes it so much more um, mystical and magical and just adds some brightness to some of these dark myths. <laughs> that is so true. The Hydra was Wait. hilarious. I like the Hydra one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did love the Hydra. <laughs> and Hezu says, um, good point, Pastel. Yes, see? And don't even think of someone bringing cuteness into this myth. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna come back over here. And make sure that... See? <laughs> Alright, it doesn't look like anyone new has come in. So, are we ready for the next one? I am ready. 
I'm gonna let you read this one. All right, because it's All right. Maria's. Yep, you re <laughs> we ready? Okay, here we are. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> this one is Me Mouse's. It's Me Mouse, also known as Maria. I call her Maria because I've known her for years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the title on this one is called Mananangal. And it says, my first submission to the monthly miss is a lot of firsts for me. It's my first piece using Clip Studio Paint, as well as the first piece of art I've created in at least 10 years that has nothing to do with work and was just for the sole joy of creating it. I haven't felt very creative or like an artist in a very long time, but the community here and my dear friend Punky Dumplin has inspired me to do this Aww. just for me and for me to share with you. Originally, I thought I was just going, I was going just cute with this. My original references were actually cartoons, but once I started playing with all the different brushes and CSP, the style and tone definitely changed, but I'm happy with the balance between the cute and the dark. Also, big thank yous to Punky, because without her help, this creature would have been bald. <laughs> <laughs> Bold in a white background. <laughs> so, like, for real. Now, first off, Maria was a shit heel and wouldn't show me this piece until we came up to the reveal. So, Maria, this background is phenomenal. Oh my god, I love it. I love how dark it is and how you can just see the tops of the trees and, like, the brush. And then, you know, the moon behind the clouds, the opacity you have on the clouds is fantastic. Uh, and the, I love the pose that you have her in, along with her hair. Like, I know you said you hated the hair, but her hair is fantastic. Seriously. I, I love this, and I'm just so excited that you joined in on this with us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the one thing I love is monster hands, and I have to say I freaking love the hands like look that you have in the end of the wings. It's super cute and creepy. I love creepy monster hands. Love them. Love them. And so yeah, I'm, I've been staring at those hands. That and if this thing was to fly at me, I don't know if I would try to run from it or pet it. Like, <laughs> I mean, petting might not be your best option. <laughs> I I would try to pet it. It would probably bite me. <laughs> <laughs> Lurk Master, thank you for gifting a sub to me, Mouse. <laughs> but yes, I absolutely love the moon. I love the light that you did that bounces off the clouds, like on, on the edge of the cloud that's on the edge of the moon. I like how it, mm -hmm. it you've got like some light burst right there. And it just, it adds this really beautiful glow to the clouds. And I just, that's where my eye goes. And from there, I see the pine tree, or the palm tree. And uh, I love how you did the silhouette of the palm tree, but you added just enough glow onto the edges of the leaves and stuff like mm -hmm. that to give texture so you knew what it was. Because otherwise without it, like, I wouldn't have known what that was, but you did those subtle things and it just brought this beauty to this piece. And uh, yeah, I'm just like overall, like I said, cute, creepy. I, I love it, so. I'm so glad you submitted, and I really hope that you keep up with it, because this is adorable, and I can't wait to see more of your work. Agreed. You are an artist, you shit. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> um, Becky Hi. says, I love this, Maria. Um, Autumn says, I love that this myth brought you back into arting. Yay! Um, <laughs> Mima says, you saw most of it, punky. <laughs> But I didn't see all. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Um, Arda Elias says, awesome. Welcome back to Art, Maria. Aww. Let's see. And Autumn says, it gives it a bat-like look. Yeah. It definitely has a bat-like look for sure. Um, mm. Creative Jenny says, I like the creepy cute style. And let's see. And Juan says, very spooky style, and it has certain 3D look. It does. <laughs> Go me. Go me. <laughs> it says creates. Um, me is killing it. Oh, look at all these people coming in here saying all that nice stuff. Okay, let's see. 
All right, so let's, uh, and uh, Pastel says, I legit didn't know how you were able to make it so creepy and cute at the same time. Aww. And Felicia says, this is awesome work with the details in the background. Also looks awesome. Amazing. Yay. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's let's come back here and it, um, say <laughs> hi to all these new people that have come in. Um, Tildilio, Tildilio, welcome in. Um, Dion, Dialagon. Oh my gosh, I'm messing up your your name so much, guys. Um, is it Dino? Carmen Dinell? Is it <laughs> Dino Dino Nalgan? <laughs> I'm so bad at names, and and <laughs> maybe Punky's closer. Um, <laughs> Cameron <laughs> creates. Uh, welcome in, welcome in, guys. Let's see, and Creative Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> so professional. <laughs> okay. And uh, guys, go check out Creative Jenny. Creative Jenny is also an art and uh, write writer. And uh, Creative Jenny, I didn't get your submission in. Um, if you want to submit it, I can show it at the end um, after I've showed everybody's. Um, I, there was a couple people I didn't get a hold of before um, before stream, but yes, if you wanted to submit your still, uh, please please feel free. Um, we had to support Me Mouse. Oh, and her presentation. Oh, yay! I'm so glad to see supportive people coming in, supporting their friends. Hi, Jimmy. Hey. Welcome in, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm literally going to die in a quarter from embarrassment. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. Why? Why are you embarrassed? <laughs> Wait. Why are you embarrassed? You did such a good job. I mean, I even called you a shithead on stream so that you would feel less embarrassed. <laughs> let me do this real quick. Uh, thank you for the follow, uh, Jimmy. And let us know if you are a streamer and or artist. Um, this is a reveal stream, so it's a little different than what we normally do content-wise. Um, but yeah, we uh, we do a monthly myth challenge, and this month was the Menandigal. Oh no, this next one's mine. Ugh! Which I didn't write anything. <laughs> so I'll make it you up. Dork. Ah, why didn't I write make anything? Make it up so we can sit here and make you blush. Hurry. <laughs> okay, I'm making it up. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this next one. <laughs> it literally just says Menandigal, because that's all I put. <laughs> um, but yeah, I did a Copic Markers. I wanted to do more of a duality piece, so I wanted to do like one angel wing and one um, bat wing versus uh, two bat wings. And uh, I also wanted to do like uh, one of those like spit split piece body ones. And I thought it would be kind of a cool one to do with the detached torso that way. Um, I also covered up the lady bits with a flower because I thought that people might try to TOS me once I actually got done drawing the skin tone, even though there's nothing there. I was worried I was gonna get in trouble. So enjoy the flower. <laughs> I, I knew you knew I was gonna say that first. <laughs> <laughs> you like the flower, monkey? <laughs> I love the flower. <laughs> All right. Do I do I do I get to do I get to lay into you now? Sure. <laughs> All right. So first off, dead your fucking colors on this piece. Aww. The way it goes from the hot like red, yellows and oranges into these really saturated but cool purples and blues. Color-wise, I think this is my favorite piece of yours, period. This is just absolutely brilliant. I also love that you've got those little dots in her hair. It gives it a cool, like, design texture that I can't explain exactly what I mean. But, like, <laughs> it just adds just a little bit more intrigue into her. And uh, I love the way you did the hands. Also, the way that they are clutched to her hips and the uh, her eyes, the fact that she has like no, uh, it's pupils, yeah, pupils, because the sclera is the outside, right? Yeah, <laughs> that is just the sclera. I know how to use words, guys. <laughs> <laughs> words are important, but, but most of all, 
that flower. <laughs> <laughs> you like the flower. <laughs> it was beautiful. It's a beautiful way to cover up for TOS. <laughs> I'm actually worried and I'm going to get in trouble because it's a flower. <laughs> but it's her flower. <laughs> and it's so artfully positioned and trimmed. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm being a shit heel, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love this though, Deb. Seriously, your colors on this are top notch. Mm, thank you, Punky. Thank you for all the kind words. I'm gonna let you read chat because it's always awkward when I read chat on my own pieces. Alright. Alright, so let me get down. Alright. I love pastel first thing. Is that a plant? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And autumn, the way you made it safe for work. <laughs> And Sketchy says, wow, spectacular work. Orange is keeping the bush jokes to herself. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, oh, a Georgia O'Keefe joke. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, so Zeus says, this is gorgeous. Your coloration is always beautiful. Love the hair flow and details on the wings. Nice staple work touch with the plant. And Maria says, like, the two different wings really speaks to, to the duality of the creature. And Jelly says, kidding, I love this piece. It's stunning. <laughs> and on a, let's see. Oh, sorry. Uh, Pastel also says, dead, I love the colors of it all. The hair is so beautiful. The disconnect between her torso and legs is amazing. Plus the disconnect between her limbs... Her bloody eyes are so freaky, and I love it. Hey. And, you know, the flower fits nice to be honest. <laughs> and Becky says, amazing, beautiful work, even if there is a flower, but I love this work. And Autumn, be like Punky and do a thermal <laughs> No! <laughs> no. Elliot says, I love the colors. Looks like a painting for a gallery. Oh. Oh, Lurk, I see what you did. Yes, Lurk, Master. Thank you so much for all those gift subs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't want uh, to interrupt Juan... Punky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Juan says, it looks phenomenal. The style and composition is very captivating. <laughs> it could have been a burning bush. <laughs> <laughs> what? Man, it's your turn this time. <laughs> Last time we were talking about hand placement for me. Oh no. You know, I knew a the hands are fine until I put the flower there and now it doesn't look fine, okay? <laughs> it looks I think it looks great. And the flower to me is like perfection because of, you know, like the symbolism with it too. Like, yeah. I joke, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna read. Then Lurk. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna finish off with Lurk Masters, which says your art is inspiring and beautiful, so emotional, so powerful. It grips my heart and shakes it awake. Thank you for being the gift that you are. I agree. Oh my gosh, Lurk, that's beautiful. Thank you for saying that. And they. Oh, guys. <laughs> I'm glad that you you enjoyed this. I almost didn't put a background, and the only reason there's a background on it is because of Punky. So yell at her. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, Dad, you do so much for the community, and I absolutely adore coming on here and chatting with you, and getting to be a part of this. Like this is fantastic, and I love seeing the work that you have done for the monthly myths. Like, look at that. It's beautiful. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Monkey. And it means a lot to say that you say that this is one of your favorite pieces of mine. So thank you for saying that. I'm gonna come over oh. here before I die. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, again, thank you, Lurk Master. That was very sweet of you. I think what was that ten gift subs? I'm just make sure. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. That you don't have to do that and. Thank you so much, and your kind words too. Just like you guys. Ah, 
<laughs> oh my gosh. We want you to know how much we appreciate you, Dad. No, we Seriously. don't want dead, dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, dead, dead, dead. That's where we're going for. Aw, thank you, Pastel. Yeah, and I'll, uh, I'll definitely uh, look back to you and see if I missed any comments or if we missed any. Uh, <laughs> chat turns lewd because of the, the they, we noticed the bush. <laughs> it's not a bush! <laughs> it's a green flower, I swear! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> there was lots of different flowers that I chose, and one of them I was like, I'm gonna get banned from Twitch because of one of the flowers I chose. <laughs> Funky, I'll send you the picture later. <laughs> was it an orchid? Was it an orchid? Funky <laughs> 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 um, gets caffeinated to be too hyper. <laughs> no, no. Not Green me. bush. Hi, Aqua. Welcome in. <laughs> Nicely trimmed bush. I know that's what Punky said. Orange. That's. <laughs> guess. <laughs> guess I deserved that by the the flower that I did choose, right? But guys, remember TOS from now on with monthly myths. If you need TOS, flowers, flowers. Okay. <laughs> and that's going to be the meme. Yeah. <laughs> Like, quite literally, I'm going to have to draw a naked character just so that I can put a flower on it next time. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, so this next piece is Becky's. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and read this one. Alright. Okay, so this one's Becky's. Um, I, I feel like I need to do this. Hold on. I've got something going on with my... Uh... It's driving me crazy. It's cutting everybody's heads off. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna leave it. Um, but yeah, the top of the head's cut off a little bit, guys. Um, if you were to see uh, the full versions of the artwork, um, please go check out the site. Um, but yeah, this one's Becky's and it says Menandigel. Um, I went kind of gore on her and I used color pencils and pen to outline, but color her with markers. I would I would always say vampire torso lady because <laughs> I don't know how to say the real word for this um, but I really enjoy drawing dark things of my own free will so this was up my alley let me start off by saying I don't think anyone knows how to pronounce that I've heard it pronounced so many different ways and I keep pronouncing it different every time I say it so no <laughs> worries <laughs> I think mandangle is my favorite though <laughs> We're just gonna call her the dongle from here on out. The dongle. Uh. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really loved what you did here, um, Becky. I really loved how uh, you have like a mixed media. I love mixed media, so I love how that you you did that. Um, you've got the torso kind of like ripped up and and really gory, and then you have the spine coming down, which I thought was really cool. Um. I really like her face. I love her blue eyes. I love how that you added a background. You got roses in here and all kinds of like abstract colors in the background. I love that you're trying to blend some of your colors. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm really liking how you added like, a, it looks like a little bit of a purple um, or maybe a gray on top of the, the bloody like red. So I, I like that you are experimenting with your markers and I can't wait to see what more you get when when you are doing more experimenting because I see like this orange that's kind of blended in here because of the pink and the, the yellow. So I can't wait to see more and more blending. Um, I don't know what kind of markers you're using, but I'm, I'm really excited to see you exploring with them. And uh, okay. yeah, and I like the spider web that you added and how you were bringing more her into the background. And that the, the last few pieces that you've done, you've done like more like an abstract along with the character. And I really love that how you were bringing these abstracts into like your character pieces. So really cool. And I like your color choices too. Mm-hmm. All right, so 
Uh, what I love about this, Becky, is the fact that like you've got the spider web down at the bottom, but the way you have it curved into like the remains of her spinal cord, I like that it looks like it's wrapping around her spinal cord, so it looks like it's a part of her. I also like like if you look uh, next to like the area of her chest up to her neck, there's these little bluish gray dots that almost look like they're forms of bruising around her and I, I just uh, first off I love I love bruises and art don't ask <laughs> um, but I also love like Deb was saying the colors that you used in the background from the blues to the reds to the greens to the purples I like that it has like a, a mid 90s color palette to it in the back it I just I love it fantastic work I think this one is my favorite from you so far Yes, it's very cool. Let's uh, let's go ahead and move to chat and see what they say. Uh, yeah, guys, the full piece is right there. Uh, Becky shared it just in case you guys wanted to see um, where her head's not cut off. Um, I love this color. Reminds me of stained glass. I love that you chose to do gore for this too. I feel like it suits her, says Pastel. Um, Jesus says, this is beautiful. A stained glass look. Love the pose. So everybody's really liking the colors that you're choosing. Mm-hmm. Um, Juan says it's nice. It has a nice and colorful design, an old school style, and it is refreshing. Um, Autumn says gives me a colorful sugar skull vibe. Nice. And Creative Jenny mm-hmm. says I like the colors. Yay! Yeah, and very abstract, great colors. Says Art Elias. Great. So let's let's come Agreed. back here. Yeah. So I'm excited. I I can't wait to see more and. Uh, Again, guys, feel free to post any links during uh, during the oops during the stream that you need to. Oh, well, let's pause this one. Um, the next one is um, Jesus's, so I'm gonna make sure that I, we say hi to everyone that's come in. Yep, we got everyone. Um, guys, check out Aqua. Aqua is an art streamer. I don't know if I gave her a shout out earlier. Hi, Aqua. I think I said hi, but. I didn't do the shout out thing. Um, all right, you guys ready for this? I'm gonna go ahead and pause the music. Um, I do believe that we have some music made by Jesus again. So the very first playthrough, guys, we're gonna be uh, silent while we listen to the music. And then afterward, I'm gonna read um, what Jesus has to say. So I'm gonna jump into this screen and we're gonna go ahead and watch it. Whoa. 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and read this um, while it plays through a second time. Uh, it said, Ang uh, on the Thirst? Oh, I don't know how to say that. It's Ang An Ho. An Ho. Ang Hua. Ang Hua the Thirst. And this is by uh, Jesus, guys. Um, so this was. So this one was a blast. As usual, the diorama consists of sculpty clay, um, cardboard, and sculpty brushes, but I decided to make the background out of um, perler beads, uh, which actually served as two purposes. I decided to make a Filipino hut um, with bath, oven, and the various Filipino instruments that I tried to portray in my song. Um, Twas the most disturbing myth so far, and I really enjoy it. As always, thank you for this fun challenge. I must say, I really, <laughs> I really love what you did with the backgrounds. I really, it has a, like a very video game type feel. And uh, I like how, again, your video production is telling story here. Um, we're seeing the, the campfire, or not, not so much the campfire, but we're seeing the hut, we're seeing their their living conditions and we see inside that they obviously are newly um, newlyweds. We've got the uh, the heart with the petals on the bed. So yeah, you've got like that newlywed type feel. And, uh, I, and I must say, I'm sorry I giggled there for a second. I love what you did with her legs and how they're detached from her body. Um, I just, I, I just really liked it, so I didn't mean to laugh, I'm sorry. I, it was just a really cool touch. And, uh, I also like how you did some video, um, production where you have her killing them, and then you have her leaving, and just the sculpts themselves, very, very good work. A lot of work went into this, um, as usual, Jesus, um, extremely, extremely, like, awestrucking. Um, you put in so much. You, you do the music, you do the video, you do the sculpting, and now you've done beads on top of it, the, the beading background. So, <clears throat> so impressive. Very much so. Now, like, I love the way you did the perler beads in the background because it gives a little bit of depth to your diorama. Uh, I like that it looks, you know, kind of like jungle-ish and stuff like that in the back. Also, that gulp. Sir, that was the most ominous gulp I've ever heard in my entire life in a video. <laughs> but I also love the fact that uh, you're starting to actually use, like, uh, the camera for moving around and stuff like that. Like, this is fantastic work. Like, your storytelling has... I have watched your storytelling improve since we started doing this. And I love the way you did the lighting. I love the way that you uh, changed the lighting for when it got dark and when she's when she was doing the nefarious stuff. Fantastic work. And by the way, I love your sculpt of her. She is terrifying. <laughs> Such good work. Yeah, I could just keep Such pointing good. things out because there, I mean, you do so much. Like you, you I mean, you paint your characters. Um, you know, the, the mouth on her, the face, you've got little props everywhere, which you are getting more and more props in there. Um, I mm -hmm. like how you added the, the green on the sides and then you have like that more detailed background so it kind of pulls your eyes forward. There's, yeah, there's just so much going on. And then your music on top of it, you make your own music. So it's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And you're getting your music more and more tied into your storytelling, which is just phenomenal on that. 100% agreed. Okay, so let's uh, let's go here and see um, what Chat has to say. Um, Artie Elias says, awesome job. I love the tongue effect. I love the music soundtrack. The night scene was beautiful. Um, Meemaw says, oh my god, going from the bed to the creature. I may have peed a little. I'm, it, it's, it scared me. <laughs> Um, Pastel says, oh my geez, Zeus, I am so glad you incorporated your, um, perler beats into this. Holy crap, she is scary. I love the storytelling in the myth, though. I love that 
you added the happy couple in the house and she's coming to attack and oh my goodness the tongue yeah that tongue <laughs> autumn says zeus you always amaze me with your entries and this um that's why i try to do more hands-on projects love mm -hmm. so let's see um me about let's see Oh, and Arda Ely says, awesome job. Um, love the tongue. I already read that, didn't I? I already read that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Aqua said, definitely uh, get time more into the storytelling with your videos. I love the music shift, too. Very cool. Yeah, no. Your music, your, your mu musicality in this. Like, I, I didn't mention the musicality because I am... Uh, I, I have wood for a brain. But there's just I'm a lot. Really... There's just a lot. <laughs> there's so much. And you do so much good work. I love it. Uh, Lurk says, uh, for that jump scare, you are now one of the kids that didn't get to be on my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be yeah, a Lurk Master's lawn. <laughs> I love that. Um, one says, incredible video, the music really draws you into this, um, the story, complimentary, with the animation and the whole creating, you have made it its own world for that moment, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, laughing is fine, I take no offense. I laughed because I liked it, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and Jelly says, the music transition and the... Uh, cinematography incorporates all of the parts together. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, so Brad says, um, well, it's not, it's not a film challenge. No, this is what Jesus has decided to do by himself, which is amazing. <laughs> it's a, uh, yeah, he, anything he, he art. Jesus is the best overachiever. <laughs> so guys, um, speaking of, uh, go and uh, support Jesus. Jesus is a um, game streamer, also makes the dioramas and the sculpts on his stream. Um, definitely go and give him support. He's on Twitch, so... Alright, so let's pause this. And uh, come back here. Oops, there we go. Just so you know, Zeus, you rock. Yes, you do. I, I, I will be taking no questions. <laughs> and out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, so basically what uh, what this challenge is, is that it's a monthly art challenge. You can enter anything. We've had crochet. Um, we've had um, film. We have sculpts. We have illustration. Um, sculpts. Yeah, I, I said sculpts because I meant 3D and then I also meant hand sculpting. Um, but yeah, you can do anything. You could make a plushie. It just has to be some kind of art based. We actually had somebody enter a video game once. Um, so it's kind of just like whatever people want to do artistically. And uh, yeah. Oh, welcome in um, Brad and welcome in um, Leia. How are you guys doing? And I think I saw someone else come in too. Oh, baby. Baby Skittles, hi. And oh. Sketchy. Yes, all the people are coming in. And Self Esteem Machine. <laughs> Welcome in, guys. Yeah, we are doing the monthly myth reveal. Um, so I try not to say hi to people coming in um, to be as less disruptive as possible. So again, I'm sorry if you had to wait that long for me to say hello to you. Um, but hello! <laughs> and guys, um, go and check out, um, Leia. Leia is an art streamer. Go and check out Self Esteem Machine, also a art streamer. And, um, guys, if I, if I... Oh, and, uh, check out Sketchy as well. Sketchy is also an art streamer. If I missed you guys and I didn't get you a shout out, um, I apologize. Uh, feel free to <laughs> tell, uh, tell a mod. That you are, <laughs> that you're a streamer, so we can get you a shout out. Um, but yes, you guys ready for this next one? The next one is is uh, monks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I I think I'm gonna read this one. All right. All right. So this one's monk, and it says Bloody Moon. Um, 
wasn't able to submit the whole thing. I will finish this late April. Um, the the main parts um, that are missing is the designs on the building and stained glass windows. The Menandigel was going to be holding the dead body of an ang looking person. Um, and in the other hand, she was going to be holding his heart. Oh my gosh, the narration Damn. will be released when I am done as well. Love you all, be well, be kind, and may your heart thrive. Well, I must say, number one, guys, go and check out um, Monk's uh, comic. He just released a comic, and uh, let me, uh, and he gave me the link, so I'm not just throwing this out there, just out of nowhere. Uh, so yeah, guys, go and check out his comic, um, first off, which is like, it's a really cool thing with monsters, it's on uh, webtoons. Um, I must say, Monk, I love this piece. I'm really sad to see that it didn't get finished because you had so much in mind, so much in mind. You were talking about how you were going to do the stained glass and all of these, you had this like, building that you were showing, you have the gargoyle on there with the light. So you were gonna do like this huge like building and then you were gonna have like you have this moon with the clouds which is absolutely gorgeous. I love how you've done like the wispy clouds in there and how you've done the moon. She is creepy as all get out, <laughs> I must say. Um, I didn't know you were gonna do the whole Aang thing ripped apart with the heart thing. <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna do that. That, that came as a bit of a shock. Um, but yeah, this is this is a gorgeous piece. I can't wait to see it finished. And yeah, no no worries. I'm I'm glad that you submitted the whip so we could at least look at it. And guys, you have to see the detail work that he was doing on this. Let me see if I can zoom in. I can't. I can't zoom in. Guys, you must zoom in on this to see it because it is yes. gorgeous the amount of time that he put into these windows. Um zoom in on those and the anatomy that he's put on the like the whole torso and just yeah it's it's so much detail goes into monk's work definitely have to okay. zoom in on his stuff mm -hmm. so uh yeah again lighting amazing contrast monk <laughs> all right monkey you wanna uh give me a second sorry <laughs> it's past my bedtime <laughs> No, okay, so like Deb was saying, the detail work in this is absolutely breathtaking. And one of my favorite uh, streams to lurk in is Monks, because the way he works is just absolutely mind-blowing to me. And the, the amount of detail in this, like even just like this, the way that he pulled in underneath her cheekbones and sallowed her cheeks like that, like there's and pushed up her nose just a little bit to give it more of a skull-like feel. Absolutely gorgeous. I I am I cannot wait to see this done because I'm already in love with it. I love the composition you have, especially with the twirling little swirling clouds around the moon. I'm seriously, I just love it. <laughs> Okay, so let's look at um, what Chat has to say. Monk, honestly, I can't tell between your sketches and the completed work. It's beautiful already. Can't wait until you get this completed, says Autumn. Um, Creative Jenny says, it looks great so far, Monk. Um, Pastel says, uh, this looks amazing, Monk. I can't believe it isn't finished, to be honest. She is creepy, but so beautiful and breathtaking. Gorgeous. Um, Brad says, clouds are like a huge claw coming down to steal someone's soul. Nice. Um, Arda Elias says, love the whole black and white feel of it. Um, it sets the mood. Well, let me let me add something, um, Arda Elias. If you've ever seen Monk work, um, he works in gray tones and black and whites, and then he puts color on top of everything once it's already done. Um, yes. that's why, that's why Punky was talking about watching the way he works is, is really cool to watch is because I've never seen anyone work the way he works. Um, yeah, he does the whole, like, uh, <laughs> like he paints on the shapes and then he just builds these beautiful pieces. Um, yeah, just, yeah, this would be colored. So when he finishes it, it will be colored. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. He also goes from darks to lights, Mm -hmm. and that just blows my brain apart. (laughs) Right. So yeah, so when when we see a whip, it's going to be black and white from Monk, but he always has colored pieces in the end. Uh, let's see. Um, Pastel says, this looks amazing, Monk. I can't believe it isn't- Oh, I already read that again. Damn it. I'm good at this, I'll tell you. Um, Blend <laughs> says- <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Wee! Um, Blend says, um, Monk, I flipping love your work. Amazing job. I adore the details in the building. I know, that's why I was like, there was so much more details that you wanted to add. And, uh, let's see. Uh, Jelly says it's stunning, Monk. I want to see the finished version. Um, Aqua says very good work, Monk. I uh, can always tell which ones are yours. And Me Mouse <laughs> says, yeah, it's a um, ethereal. Oh my gosh, ethereal. Ethereal. I knew I was like I'm reading that word wrong. <laughs> um, it it's so like ethereal and creepy. <laughs> And then the detail in the windows is just amazing. I can't wait to see it done. And um, Juan says his style is very recognizable as usual and usually creates, um, sorry, creations keep getting more refined and he went to town on the windows for sure, right? He really did. Yeah, so we, we can't wait to see this done, Monk, and he he's going to be watching the VOD. But yeah, guys, go again. Here's his comic. Go support him his comic right now he is uh i would give him a shout out for streaming but he's currently on hiatus so i'm just gonna keep pushing that comic get in there guys and uh read that webtoons and give him like all the stars you can which i believe is five stars it might be 10 i don't know but go give him high scores all right so i'm gonna come back over here all right Let's see what this next piece is. The next piece is Leia's. So let's see if anyone new has come in. Hi, Blend, by the way. I don't think I said hi to Blend. Guys, go and check out Blend. Um, Blend has some beautiful art on Insta. And she is actually working on a comic, too. And I really hope gets submitted on Webtoons. (gasps) So excited. So excited. All these people working on comics. Sorry, I'm very excited. Um, Brad, I don't know if I said hi. I don't know that I did. Hi. (laughs) Like, maybe I did, but I don't remember. Okay, you've uh, resubmitted it. All right, thank you, Creative Jenny. And hey- What happened? She's calling me out for comics. This bitch wants me to write a book and do the comic. (laughs) (laughs) And hello, cool. Welcome in, cool. If you're still here. Let me see. Did we miss anyone else coming in? I think that's it. Guys, if I missed you coming in, I apologize. And you said hi to me to multiple times, and then the bot liked me. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the bot does. <laughs> Harasses the bot is people. very friendly. <laughs> very friendly. Very tactile. <laughs> I guess I'll let you read this one. I, I, I'll, I'm gonna. Okay, yeah, I'll let you read this one. You ready? <laughs> this I one sounds ready. okay. Here we go. All right, so this one is Liz, and it says Mananango wanted to finally participate in the monthly Myth DOS as well. Took I took the opportunity to combine traditional and digital art for the first time properly, and it certainly made me leave my artistic comfort zone. That's fantastic. So first off, I I see that gold foil that you used in for uh, her hair and for, I'm assuming, the cloth. Fantastic work. And I love the detail work you have on these wings and in her viscera. Like, holy shit. Fantastic. Also, I love the way you draw the noses. You. But no, this is a fantastic piece, and I really like the composition you put together with it. I like the muted color scheme. A plus work. <clears throat> yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. I love the like the veinage that you put on the wings. Um, I like how you actually outlined her in white to make her pop off that back 
background, the backgrounds. Mm -hmm. um, you also have like constellations in the background, which I thought was kind of a cool touch. Uh, again, the foil is amazing. I love how you brought the yellow into her eyes as well. I love her mischievous look. Like it's so mischievous. I love it. I don't know. <laughs> it feels like classic, like a uh, 50 style pinup, but then she's got this gory head that she's like leaning on, which just, I love it. So it's so contrasty because you're thinking, oh, pinup girl. And then you look down and you're like, oh shit, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe we don't mess with that. <laughs> right. Um, but I really love the way that you did their faces, and I love how he's got like that stairway look in his eye. I love that you gave him pupils, and they're kind of going a little derpy and showing that he's dead. Um, I even love how you did the blood coming off of his chin. The, just the attention of details that you did on this is absolutely gorgeous. Love the way you drew her hands yes. as well. The anatomy on the edge of her um, her elbow um, coming up into her... Um, her upper arm just like the small details in the way that you did the forms is gorgeous mm -hmm. um love that this is your first submission and i'm so excited so excited guys um if you are not aware um go and follow leia um leia is an art streamer and we are currently looking at her art she is on twitch so uh yeah and then she's also got an instagram uh, Leia, I, I say that I've been trying to say this and reminding people, um, please drop like an Etsy or something like that, Redbubble, um, Instagram, anything you feel that you want to drop, especially if you got a link tree. I'm really pushing these link trees. Um, <laughs> but yes, yeah, so let's, let's move to chat and see <clears throat> what people have to say, unless you have more to add, Pun Punky. No, I am good. Do you want me to read chat this time? Sure. <laughs> Give, give you a little bit of a break, you know. I'm supposed to do something here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Aqua says, I do like the foil. Not something you see very often. Very cool. Uh, Maria says, the glow is mesmerizing. Uh, Zeus says, well, this is not nightmare fuel. Hey, I love this so much. Truly twisted in the wings and intestine detail are incredible. Uh, Leia says, thanks, I'm obsessed with all the metallic colors. It looks so good. Uh, Pastel says, this is an ama this is amazing, Leia. <clears throat> I love the gold. I love how the wings are slightly yellowed and the irises are yellow. It's so pretty. I love how you drew and shaded the wings. The decapitated head is a great contrast. Uh... Nubish one said, I love the mostly monotone color scheme with a kiss of color from the foil. Maria says, like old Hollywood meet horror. Uh, Autumn says, this gives me a 50s jazzy vibes like she's from one of those speakeasies. Aqua says, I agree with dead, very good an anatomy. Uh, Rihanna says, I love the expression. Brad says, who doesn't like a psychotic 50s pinup, right? <laughs> Elliot says, this looks like a comic book style, love it. Uh, Juan says, stunning illustration. The composition and details are incredible and the combination of medias combine excellently. Overall, very talented. Even though you didn't give yourself enough credit and even though I might be biased, I speak the truth. <laughs> <laughs> He used the T word. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Shame. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Shame. Yeah, well, it's uh, beautiful, Liam. Juan called your butt out. I am following you, Miss Leia. Take that. I am now following you on the Instagram. So. Yay. <laughs> Well, and uh, I must say that um, I really love that you used uh, this to push you out of your comfort zone. That's one of the biggest things that I like to try to um, ask people to do is to use these monthly myths to push yourself out of your comfort zone. So then that way you can learn more from it. Um, so I love that you did that. So I, wa I definitely wanted to point that out. Um, thank you for doing that. And I'm excited and I hope that you submit more because this is beautiful and mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. I hope you do more. <laughs> All right, so let's come back here. And uh, hi to, let me see, where'd you go? Noobish, welcome in Noobish. 
How loud are they? Okay, so let's see. Anyone else come in? Alright, I think we're good. Now this one is blends. You guys ready for blends? Um, yeah. The head's placement makes her spinal column line up uh, with his, and it shows pleasure and weight pressing down on the um, decapitated head makes it feel like the head is raising despite no way for it to be raising. It conjures the idea of keeping your chin up. The head has a very slight flicker of life and hope left in it. Wanting to escape the hell it's in. Ooh. I like that yeah. look, Master. Very much so. Yeah. <laughs> what it's are we- okay, we don't sentence well either. No, no I don't. And I'm getting ready to read. I am getting ready to read a lot. <laughs> so here we go. I'm gonna mess it up. Here we go! Alright, so this one is um, Blends. Very excited. And uh, it says Mandangle at the very top here, just so I can point <laughs> that out. <laughs> uh, the title is Mandangle, Life After Love. And it says, Love is the strongest connection between two souls. By marriage, these two souls become bonded in life together forever. When the bond is broken, the soul is torn, causing a strange transformation within the abandoned one's heart. A void longing to be filled, a sort of bloodlust takes over, consuming what was once a bride-to-be, ripped in half with wings of a bat. This deadly creature of beauty ba bathes in the blood of those in love, Grasping at the hopes of being happy once more. I hope so much fun. I, I had so much fun with this piece between comic up with coming up with poses and ideas, doing the research to coloring and signing the piece. The excitement, dedication, and heart put into this piece was well worth it. I think this is my best myth illustration yet. I agree. Um, I put the mandangle on the wedding dress to represent her being left at the altar. Though the blues came out a little darker than planned, her outfit came out great. Um, truly a bloody valentine piece. First time using Copic markers on a full illustration and I love them. Oh my gosh, yay! Um, my biggest thanks goes out to Dead On All oh, for taking the time to put together these myths for us. Blend! Thank you for pushing me not only as an artist but as a human being. This community was the best thing to come out of 2020 for me. I'm glad I am part of it and even more glad to call you all friends. Oh my gosh, Blend! Oh. <laughs> oh. I wasn't expecting feels. <laughs> And Italian Monkey, thank you so much for those gift subs. I'm gonna wait for a little. Okay. Thank you so much, Italian Monkey, um, for the uh, five gift subs. I appreciate you. And Blend, I had no idea, no idea these were Copic markers. I thought this was a digital piece. That says a lot, actually, because I did not I did not know this was a Copic marker piece. I thought it was digital, and <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that because holy crap, I had no idea. You did so beautifully with your blending and the like the shapes that you have on her arm there, like on the arm parts, it's gorgeous. I love this. And then you have like the way you did the uh, stained blood on top of it, I would have never mm -hmm. have guessed that this was Copic. Um, just me personally, I wouldn't have. And um, I love the colors that you have here. I love the way that you blended her hair, how you have the shines in her hair. I, uh, I love the pose that you brought in here. I love the story that you told with it as well. The roses mm -hmm. are gorgeous. I like how you have the one rose above her head that's dripping, and then you have kind of the petals that kind of follow down, and then you've got the roses at the bottom. Um, and just, yeah, love her hand placements, love her face, and what you said, oh my gosh, Blend. Thank you for the kind and beautiful words as well. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Punky take over because I'm, I'm gushing <laughs> over here. 
Aww. Now, this is a phenomenal piece. I have to say, the fact that you got such good solids out of those Copics for the background uh, behind the roses and behind her, absolutely fantastic job on that. Because that is not easy to do. Uh, like Deb was saying, like the, the, the patterning on the gloves is absolutely gorgeous. And I really love the fact that you use some really nice, it looks like gel pen for like the highlights on the roses that make them look like they're kind of shining and wet. Very nice touch. I, uh, the hand in the back is my favorite. Like just, it, it's such a nice fluid pose for that hand. This, the whole, the whole vibe of this is fantastic. And I also want to point out how much I love uh, your your hand your hand done typography on here. Absolutely beautiful because it's legible. You can read what it says, and you can actually see it and read it on the piece, which is not easy to do traditionally. Fantastic work. Yes, it's just, it's incredible, and I keep staring at it, and I just, like, my favorite part overall blend is just the blood on the gloves. I just, on the arm pieces, I just, I can't stop staring at it because it's so seamless along with that pattern, and, mm -hmm. it, and it feels like the cloth is actually soaked in blood, which is just beautiful. It's, it's gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to stop gushing and come over here and read chat, because <laughs> I'm just going to find more to say. Um, let's right. see. Um, sorry, let me let me move up here. I'm just seeing where it starts. Um, Pastel says, oh my goodness, romance novel cover, awesome. I love how you did the hair and the cloth and the clothes. Um, also, I definitely appreciate how your description is like a book description. Yes, look at the shading on the roses. Amazing. I know, right? Um, Unpredictable Artist says, absolutely beautiful marker work. Mm -hmm. Artie Ely says, love it. It's a great job. Keep up the great work. And uh, Jelly says, the detail is impeccable. Outstanding piece blend. Autumn says, I love the story and the comic-like style. Great job. This gives the vibe of she's gonna get revenge on the, the, so, the soba, what? <laughs> the, son of a bitch. Oh, this, oh. Yes, son of a bitch. <laughs> gotcha. Acronyms. I don't, we. I, I don't know why I know that acronym. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Brad says, wow, this was an, an, an oh, okay. Um, Mima says, are you kidding? This is Marker. I know, right? Um, Leia says, the shine on her hair looks incredibly nice. So clean. And Jesus says, this is beautiful blend. Amazing detail on the sleeves. Flowers, this is by far my favorite piece of yours. And Lurk says, I feel guilty for playing favorites, but this is my favorite. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. And Juan says, very nice, clean, and stylized composition. And yes, the traditional render is very crisp and indeed it is impressive and even has digital like qualities. Mm -hmm. Where's the prince? Says Autumn. <laughs> now we're harassing, we're harassing Blend for prince now. Prince. <laughs> Um, Brad said I was convinced this was digital too. Love the shine highlights in the hair. It gives a sense of motion, like hair moving in the breeze. Aww. Um, and uh, Italian Monkey says, I don't know why, but I'm really digging the shading in this one. Oh, you wanna, you're gonna make prints? Yeah! <laughs> All right, well, yeah, definitely uh, go and check out um, Blend's Instagram. If she's not yeah. going to share it, I'm going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> so definitely go... No stone unturned. Go follow on these Insta, okay? Go check out some more of her work and go follow her Insta. All right, so I'm going to come back over here, guys. 
And we'll, we'll look at the next one, right? 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 You want to read this next one? I can do that. Okay, so let's, uh, an Italian monkey, thank you so much again for the subs. Thank you, thank you. You guys are so sweet. I, I, I'm sorry that I don't go, I, I feel bad because, like, I want to go full, like, reaction mode to your guys' subs. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for doing that. But I never know what to do on these reveal streams, and I, after a year, I still don't know what to do. So if I, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if I don't go into full thank you, but thank you, thank you. Again, Italian monkey. Yeah, and guys, plug yourself during the submissions. Um, link trees, instas, right. Um, thank you so much, Pastel. Yeah, this is a time to self-promote yourself. Um, let people know where they can get your prints and all, anything like that. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so let's jump into this next one, um, which is Rihanna's. All right. Are we ready? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> I love the title. Na 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 ga 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 ga. Very nice, yeah. <laughs> All right. To be in time for ones, I did not go for a background. I went for a painterly look, but I need to stretch that further. I think and bring it to the background. I might work on it more. Well, personally, I think that this is fantastic. Like. I know you say that you don't, that you want to do a little bit more with the background, but I kind of like the fact that the background is simple because it gives, it highlights the characters more and gives, uh, it helps make them pop out of the page a little bit, especially her. Like, um, I love the highlighting you did on the wings up here. I also love her tongue. And the cute little doggo. I love the doggo. The doggo is very confused, doesn't understand what's wrong. He just wants love from everybody. <laughs> but I also really love the resting pose of the woman you have uh, asleep. Like, it's a very nice, relaxed, pliant pose. Fantastic work on that. I think this is a fantastic piece of yours, Rihanna. So... <clears throat> Yeah, so the one thing that I noticed is there seems to be some kind of story going here. I'm wondering if this is actually her and she's dreaming? I, I feel like there's some kind of story going on here. And I don't know, does the dog see her? <laughs> like, I don't know. I like that there's some kind of story here. Um, I'm a big fan of storytelling and pictures and Im imagery. So I really like that, especially since you've got like a... Um, it looks like she's wearing like a dress like blue type dress and then you have um the creature up there that's more it's a blue but it's more of a gray um more kind of like a dark side of uh, maybe this character that's sleeping um yeah. but yeah i i really like what you've got going here um as far as like you've got like a very uh the colors that you have here are all uh blues and purples and they kind of all kind of work very well together and then you have the dog that i feel like kind of stands out because it's a little bit different colored than the rest of the piece and uh, i'm wondering if that was like an attention like if that was on purpose to call attention to the dog or if it wasn't but um i i am very drawn into the dog i i keep looking at its happy little face and uh, yeah Doggo says, friend! <laughs> Friends. <laughs> okay, so let's uh let's like what uh let's look at what chat has to say. Um uh. let's see. Uh Pastel says I love the shading and the style. I love how the sleep sleeping woman is holding her stomach. Um Hazu says this is truly haunting, gives me a sleep paralysis demon feel. Very scary. Good mm. job, Rihanna's. E. Um, <laughs> Jelly says, great job, Rihanna. Um, that shading on the cloak lighting is amazing. Uh, let's see, and then... You don't As Italian Monkey says, uh, so this looks like an old myth I heard about where this creature would come and eat the baby out of a pregnant woman. Really dark and gory. Uh, that's what we're doing, actually. It's called the manananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananan
Yeah, she eats uh, men waiting at the altar that have been left at the altar. It's yeah, she's a she's a creepy creepy thing that likes to rip off of her torso, rip off of her torso and then eat people. Um, but yeah, <laughs> um, Me Mouse okay, well. says, what was that? <laughs> I said she might be a little salty. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, Mimao says, This one makes me feel sad. I see a sleeping woman as a pregnant, soon to be victim, and the dog can see the creature, but can't do anything about it. Oh no! Maybe she's holding her stomach. Oh. Where's Rihanna? Rihanna! <laughs> Tell us what this is. Um, let's see. And guys, uh, go and check out Rihanna's. Um, Rihanna's is a art streamer. Um, she does digital, but she also does uh, wood burning. So that is her link tree, guys, if you want to check out more of her work. Um, and, oh, I thought we were making our own myths. No, these it, it's all based off of uh, the Manandagal, which I can never say. We just call it Mandangle. Uh, she's evil as shit, says Jesus. She is, she is. The mandangle gives me ring girl vibes and creeps me out. Totally. Totally. Alright, let's come back I'll here. Welcome in, raiders! Hey, how's it going, Rockhold? Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope your stream went well. Um, alright, so let's, uh, let's make sure- we're oh! It's a lore. Dogs get quiet before pregnant ladies disappear. What? Oh. Oh my gosh, Rihanna's. Well, damn. <laughs> so she is a pregnant lady. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this isn't dreaming lady. This is this is pregnant lady gonna die. Well, not gonna die, but yeah, the lore. Oh my. Uh, this this one was a hard one. It was a hard one. <laughs> Is creepy. I okay. Like creepy, you like the creepy? I do. Okay, so the next one is punkies. So let's see. <laughs> yeah, welcome in raiders. Um, and we are actually going over submissions for the monthly myth challenge. Uh, so this stream's a little bit different than normal. Um, uh, but yeah, we're we're getting ready to jump into um punky dumplings piece for the. The man and the gal. So, uh, here it is. <laughs> you want to read Hi. about it? I will. So, title is Lady of the Night. And I wrote, she isn't messing around, she will end you. This was definitely outside my comfort zone, but I had a lot of fun working on it. There are still bits I'd like to tinker with, and I will. But I am happy with this result. Uh, so, this is... I don't normally do a lot of creepy art because a lot of times to me, I think it looks kind of weird when I draw it, but I decided to go like whole hog into this and I really, I really do like how my piece turned out. <laughs> I freaking love this, Punky. I must say her face is absolutely my favorite part. Absolutely. I love the way you did her teeth. Her eyes, her freaking bat ear. Look at that bat ear. Look at the look at the details on that. I actually love how you have her hair like way back. Like it's it you know, her hairline is so far back. It it makes me feel uncomfortable and it kinda adds to the creepiness. I don't know if that was intentional, but I absolutely love it. Um it works. Yes, and <laughs> The veinage in her wings, and you've got some palm trees, maybe? Is that palm trees in the background? Yeah, palm fronds. It's beautiful. Like, you've got all these, like, textures, and it feels so comic cover to me. Um, I actually love the way you did her tongue, too, and you have this, like, thick black line on the bottom of her tongue. I love how you did her creepy ass hands. Look at those long <laughs> fingers and you broke her nails like she's been digging at people like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and the way you like, uh, you, the way you covered her, her no-no bits with the tongue, that worked. <laughs> and uh, 
I actually like how you did the breakaway on her torso too, and how it feels like kind of uh, flayed. So, I mean, big fan of how you have all these blacks in here in the background too. Like they're kind of like, um, they're, they're placed very nicely to make your eye kind of flow around the piece. And just, just gorgeous. You could, it just feels like she's flying through the trees and she's going to grab you. Like you're walking through the forest and she's like, mine and she's gonna grab you <laughs> so i mean just beautiful beautiful piece oh, i <laughs> and you said this is a whip right yeah they like it's i would say about 90 percent done there's still a little bit there's a little bit of detail work i wanted to finish but i told myself whatever was done at 3 p.m today <laughs> it was done I mean, just look at the way you did her hair and the texture on, oh my gosh, the texture on everything. It's just, I'm just gonna keep going, so I need to stop, but <laughs> it's just gorgeous. And I love how you added like this sporadic, like not sporadic, but you added like these whites and stuff or highlights and stuff on her. And it just, it works so well. Like this is just a beautiful piece, beautiful piece. So let's, let's go and see what other people are saying. Um, Italian, let me see. Let me make sure I get the top here. Okay, so, um, Italian Monkey says, This is insane. Looks so good. Love this shade and basically everything about this. Um, Tyra legit turned out awesome. Is this Tyra? Yeah, her name is Tyra. Oh, I was like, I didn't know that. Yeah, I was like, what? All of them have names. <laughs> <laughs> Tyra legit turned out awesome. I love the shading and the hatching, her face and her teeth and her eyes and her hands and so freaky. Um, Heretic and her will be happy together. Oh, did you guys already, did you already uh, ship with other characters? Yes, she, she, she shipped with the Nightmare Easter Bunny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> Um, and uh, Leia says, wow, this is amazing. Uh, the perspective must have been really hard to pull off, but it turned out incredible. Uh, Sketchy you... says, that is incredible. Um, Hazu says, you seem very comfortable with dark, scary, punky. This is very scary. The tongue censorship was very creative. You always bring it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Um, Autumn says, I love the textures of the fabrics and the black and white colored and shading. Um, Arda Elia says, wow, I love this. It's my favorite of yours. Great job. Oh, dang. Um, Meemaw says, Tyra was so scary. It still has all <laughs> your crazy detail, but it's so different than your usual stuff. So graphic novel, totally graphic novel. Um, Juan says, overall stunning illustration and details and perspective really draws you in throughout the piece and it does have a very cool comic look. Uh, Sly Eye says, oh shit, I came in just in time for Aaron's art. Had to read that. <laughs> um, he also says, uh, this, it's like her chaotic energy summons me across time and space. <laughs> <laughs> chaotic energy. <laughs> uh, Jelly says, chaotic. This is awesome, Punky. The dynamic pose and angle. I love the contrast, too. Let's see. Um, Creative Jenny says, It looks like comic art. I love this. I like the style. I would like this as a print. See, now we have another one. Print demands. Print demands. <laughs> More print demands. It will be in print. Um, Blunt says, oh shit, this one gives me hollow bleach feels. Love it. <laughs> Mimo says, you know, if you had spent like 12 hour, 12 hour stream on Tyra instead of hair- What? Listen. <laughs> Listen, Maria. <laughs> Call my ass out, <laughs> Uh, let's see. And uh, Slight Eye says, I have told her for the last three days how beautiful this piece is. She refuses to believe me. Well, we're all telling her now, so she has to listen to more of us. <laughs> um, what? Oh, we're kink shaming now? <laughs> 
Oh my. Um, <laughs> unpredictable artist says, I'm in love with all of the textures you use, Funky. And, uh, let's see. And Brad says, oh damn, I was AFK with a phone call and came back to this glor this genius. Cool take on the wings, really, um, really original, and I like the way her flesh looks kind of thin and almost hanging off the skeleton structure beneath with the arms and under ribcage and bulge bulging eyes. Awesome vibe. Yes, um, link your Etsy, Punky. Where's your- I my link tree, because I was smart and saved it. <laughs> I have it. I have it here. Oh. Well, there's a link tree, but there's also her Etsy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will be available as a print, but I, I want to do my little bit of finishing on it before I make it available. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, come back here. But thank and you, everyone. <laughs> Slay Eye, welcome in, by the way. <laughs> Pulled in by Punky's chaotic energy. I'm gonna remember that forever. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so let's see. I think that was it as far as people that have come in. Uh, right. Rockhold came in. Oh, yeah, and Rockhold. Hi, Rockhold! Thank you for again for the... Uh, for the raid. <laughs> um, you did raid, didn't you? Am I crazy? Um, I really like how this looks like it's coming up at you. Yeah, yeah, Punky's piece look crazy. <laughs> you did raid. Okay, sweet. I'm not crazy. <laughs> like, wait. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Thank you, Rockhold. Um, the next one is uh, Art of Elias, and let me make sure. Okay, so we've got it. We've got to. Uh, Three more submissions, and then we'll um, we'll look at uh, the. So we have four four submissions total, and the fourth submission I'm going to be pulling um, from my site. So not not from my site, but from an, from an email. But anyway, uh, do you want to read this next one, Funky? Uh, yes. All right. So this is Art of Elias. Yes. Uh, the title is. Uh, and it says, This was a digital drawing done on the iPad Pro using Procreate. My best friend is also a Filipino and had me put a Filipino movement movie about the Mananagal, so I just had to do it. This was also a fun piece and a good way to practice my comic book style. Yay. I love this, Elliot. Like, the the lighting you have behind the wings and the fact that the wings almost look glass-like and see-through. Gorgeous. And I love the posing you have on her body and those fingernails. She is gonna fuck you up. And her expression, absolutely fantastic work on that. Like, she, she looks menacing. And I also really love the backlighting that you did on her. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry. It's okay. All right. I'm going to go. I've got to mute for a second. <laughs> it's all right. Um, well, yeah. And the, the thing that's uh, really beautiful about this too, Art of Iliad, is the sky. You put so much detail work into the backgrounds. You have like almost like a zombie apocalypse type um, graveyard at the bottom. And then uh, at the top, you have this very beautiful like color mixing and clouds. It just it is a beautiful piece. And you've got this the moon that's very detailed and uh, almost looks like a photograph. So this is just a absolutely beautiful piece. Um, and then you've got your, like like Punky was saying, these transparent wings where the light is just pushing through. And I love that you have more light behind the wings um, than, than that's in the sky because it almost feels like um, the, uh, the actual color of the wings are more of that yellow color, but they're just transparent enough uh, that you can see the sky through them. Um, when I first saw this piece, I was just, I was, I was so excited. I was so excited. Not only is this your first submission, um, but this is one of my favorite pieces by you uh, so far. Just because it's it's so... I don't know, like, it's so... 
comic booky, like you said, it's it's your comic book style, but like it still has like your realism in it. So it's it's a good mix and it's beautiful. And I hope to see more of these kind of creative pieces from you because I'm this is just this is awesome. And I hope to see more from you. Um, guys, uh, Arda Elith is also a Twitch streamer. Just started, uh, just started streaming on Twitch as an artist. Um, definitely go and uh, um, support Arda Elith. And uh, let's uh, let's see what uh, something that chat has said. You want me to read chat this time around? Yeah. I can breathe again. <laughs> All right, because I'm I'm already here, so. Uh, Pastel says, this looks so dope, El Elliot. I love the background. I love that her skin is blue. She is so creepy. Terrifying. Autumn says, can't wait to see more of this style, Elliot. Great job. Brianna says, so cool. With some little cool light bulb emojis. Maria says, terrifying, but still kind of hot. And the glow. Love the glow. <clears throat> and then uh, Juan says crazy detail on the background and the figure is very well defined and it does have the comic book style for sure Jelly says that is so cool it has, a, it has horror movie vibes awesome work uh, Zeus says okay let's add one add this one to the prints please holy hell this is amazing every bit of this piece is fun to look at very tasteful in the way in the way she's covered. Please submit more if you can. Um, let's see. All right. Sorry. Um. It's okay. All right. And Brad says, "OMG, the background is insane." It could even stand alone by itself. Love the mist-like atmosphere across the whole piece. Massive detail on the moon, too. Plus, obviously, the character is equal parts seductive and dangerous. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of hands. And I have to say, I absolutely love the way mm -hmm. you drew her hands. I don't know what it is, me and hands, but apparently I got a thing for hands. <laughs> but anyway... I, I Right, and I also like that they've kind of got like a talon feel to them. Yeah, like it's right. the it's the position. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Sound effects, courtesy of Punky. <laughs> Record that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, you already have. Classy hair. Yes, I am so classy. <laughs> Chaotic energy is the best, says Silas Lai. <laughs> Clip it. Okay, we're coming back over here. I need to. I want to make like this screen too, where we're. I'm gonna have to change this so the person hosting with me is as big as me on this screen. Eventually, eventually. Um. Okay. So, let me see if anyone has come in. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, I'm, I'm trying to say your name. Uh, e... Elacito Travieso. Why does that sound like a... It, it almost sounds like... A, I'm just gonna call you 2000 if that's okay. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, 2000. Let us know if you are a streamer and or artist, and welcome, welcome in. Uh, let's see, why did the blind man throw the plate at the table 12 times? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. I don't know if that's an appropriate joke. But anyway, let's, uh, let's move on. Hey, how's it going, Toast? Welcome in, Toast. Toast, um, is a game streamer, guys. Go and check out Toast. Let's see. All right, all right. We ready? We ready for this next this next thing? Uh, this one I is know. ones. All right. Uh, do you want to read or do, should I? I can read it if you want. Okay. Punky's gonna read this <clears throat> one. This one is ones. Okay. Here all we go. Right. <laughs> so this is the manana na 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 na
And Juan writes, I'm aware of the submission. It's very late. Might not make it. Also, I want to emphasize this is a work in progress of this creature illustration. I have worked on this fully digital because, uh, and because of that, I'm still getting used to the art tablet to do line work and work faster while doing, while using it too. This is not the theme, uh, this is not the theme of the type of work, of artwork I usually do, but I enjoy the challenge of trying new things. Alright, so first off, the fact that this is a fully digital piece from you, Juan, what? What? This is gorgeous. First off, the detail in her face is just absolutely astounding. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love like from the from like the spots along her shoulders and her head that almost look like age spots to the way you did her horns and her wings and like the way that her uh like her top half is like oozing down onto her you know her legs. Oh my god, this is fantastic. And the and uh, the fact that you did this with just a regular tablet is absolutely, that's mind blowing. This is gorgeous work, Juan. Seriously. Yeah, I have to agree. Like the, the textures alone are just like, I can't stop staring at them. The way that you have the torso like torn at the bottom there, you can see the uh, textures are more like gory and Honestly, if this was if this was colored, I'd be worried that about TOS. <laughs> like this is this is this is beautiful. The green flower for this one. <laughs> um, but yeah, the the eyes, like like Punky was saying, just the detail around the eyes. I I love how you put the textures on her cheeks. How you've got the wrinkles underneath her eyes. She looks very very mm -hmm. menacing. Um, the. I mean, it's just the textures alone that you did on this one. And I'm so glad that you used this as like an opportunity to try to do something new with your art. Again, love it when you guys say that. It means so much when you say that, when you're doing something new with your art, you're, you're challenging yourself and you're doing that. Um, I must say that I actually really like the anatomy too that you did. Um, you gave her this like, uh, like bikini top and I really like how it's loose on her. I know that that's such a small detail to point out, but it's the way that you drew the cloth and how the band on her bikini top is loose. And then you have like this very loose fitting cloth. It's just that attention to detail alone makes this piece kind of just pull it together all together because you've got the texture and then you have like those small details of just like loose fitting clothing and stuff like that. It feels like it's gonna fall off her body. It makes her feel that much more skinny and menacing. I don't, I don't know why, but like just that. If you had given her this tight fitting top, I don't think I would have felt as like drawn into this piece and the amounts of detail you have in here. So, mm -hmm. incredible piece. Um, I can't wait to see you do more digital work because uh, this is this is beautiful. Um, so let's uh, let's move to uh, chat and see what chat has to say. Uh, let's see. Um, Holy moly says autumn. <laughs> um, Pastel says this is so scary one. Amazing, though I love the level of detail. Um, let's see. Holy moly guacamole. This is scary and jaw dropping. Nightmare fuel says autumn. <laughs> she. She had to say holy moly twice. <laughs> it was that good. <laughs> um, Mindsight says nice and creepy. I dig it. Um, Hazu says um, more nightmare fuel. Yay. This is truly um, grotesque. Um, amazing job, one. May boyin. May boyin. Sorry. Um, being. Okay, let's see. Um, <laughs> one has no regrets. <laughs> Dang, this is. Um, this. Dang, that is creepy. Um, the torso separation is so detailed and intriguing, says Jelly. Um, Mimel says, it's got the look what I can do. Uh, oh, it's got this look what I can do look on her face, but it's menacing way. <laughs> also, all the veins are giving emotion. I love that. Look what I can do. <laughs> You want to see a trick? <laughs> Ooh, no. 
<laughs> Arty Elis says, great job, Juan. Can't wait to see this finished. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, Leo says, amazing composition and expression. Love the texture where the torso detached especially and the detail in the face as well as the impressive figure drawing skills by Juan as always. Truth. And Sprat says, cool idea to capture her during separation. This is probably the most dem demonic face of all of them so far. Horns are a very nice touch and outline work makes it pop even though there is nothing in the backgrounds. Nice, yeah. Wait. And Heathens says, um, the top adds to the grotesqueness off the detail for sure. And uh, Italian Monkey says, this is so great, I love it. And uh, Sly Eye says, I really like her splitting herself apart. That's a really creative take on this project. I am going to pretend I didn't see this so I can sleep tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> All right, guys. I'm going to come back over here. Um, guys, go and definitely check out Juan. Um, mm -hmm. Juan, please drop in links to your... If you've got an Etsy, if you've got a Redbubble... Um, any of your promotion links, that would be great. Guys, Juan is an art streamer here on Switch, so definitely go and show him some love for his work. All right, so let's get to the next one. And guys, we have two more, so we have this one and then one more. Let me see, make sure I said hi to everyone coming in. Evans, hi. And I saw that you said Bean said hi. Tell Bean hi as well. Let's see. Mine Sai, I don't know if I said hi. I think I saw you a while back, but I don't know if I said hi. Hi. <laughs> and hi, Toast. I think I said hi to you already. And thank you, Pastel, for deleting that comment. I didn't really like it. It wasn't a, it wasn't a tasteful joke. Um, BJ, thank you for gifting Juan a sub. Thank you for doing that. Thank you, thank you. Throw these up here. Yeah, Juan does amazing artwork. He is also an amazing member of the art community out here. I, I love his face. Yeah, and he's very supportive, guys. Um, definitely mm -hmm. get in there and um, go show him some love because he's a very supportive streamer as well. All right, so let's- uh, see you wandering in. <laughs> the one and only, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> you can't wander into a stream. <laughs> We're lame. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All the wand jokes. <laughs> let's wander away from <laughs> the wand jokes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you always says one wand pun, so I had to. I, I know. To I know. <laughs> yes, that's what one. No, not poor one. He does it to himself. <laughs> Well, anyway, <laughs> this is pastels, guys. Um, go ahead and read this one, Punky. Um, I'll read the next one. All since... right. All right. So uh, the title is Manan Nangal, and it says work in progress. My Manan Nangal showcases her ribs, inner organs, uh, proboscis, probo proboscis like tongue and fangs. She is also holding an unfinished unfinished baby head taken from one of her hunts. I like that. Alright, so the first thing I want to say, Pastel, is I love how clean this is. How crisp your line work is on it, and the detail work that you have on uh, the digestive system, the viscera, absolutely phenomenal. Like, I love the fact that you've got you know, even that bottom rib that splits into three. Fantastic work. I can't wait to see this finished if this is how good this looks now. Um, seriously, fantastic. I, I have to say, Pastel, like, her face. I love the way you drew her face. She is super attractive. Um, I love the way that you did the tongue and then you have that curl at the end. So it's 
it's very you've got this very like beautiful face and then you have this very like elegant tongue coming out and then kind of like swirling and it just it's beautiful like every line on here like punky was saying is very clean and it's not just because it's clean it's because the angles and the mm -hmm. just like every line is just spot on you've got the wings where they curl up and you've got you know uh, one two three four bends in the wing on the inside and it makes this perfect shape this almost perfect shape around her head it's absolutely gorgeous the way you did that like silhouette around her head um with that um that uh what is that called something space oh no brain negative brain space? thank you thank you <laughs> the negative space <laughs> and i'm like oh, i'm sorry sorry i uh, <laughs> snapped into the mic um but the negative space around her head is just absolutely gorgeous it adds like almost like this um um uh, ethereal um like i don't know like godliness to her i i don't know what other word i'm looking for but it almost it has like a very it, it just draws you straight into her face so it's it's perfect shaped perfect shaped i love how you have one wing closer so it's more um it's a more foreshortens than the other wing that's more outstretched but you also see the back of the wing on the side here that's outstretched mm -hmm. i love that how you did the um the rib cage and how you did all the organs too i i like how you have her completely stripped where a lot of people have you know given her you know other parts and had to cover them i liked your take on it <laughs> <laughs> i i can on <laughs> No nip nops. <laughs> right, right. And I have to say, like, I'm glad that the head is not finished because <laughs> I don't know if I could handle that. But I love her hands. And just like everything about this, honestly, Pastel, my favorite piece of yours. By far. My favorite piece of yours. Absolutely, hands down. I have to agree. And which is hard because I, I've liked your owl man a whole lot, but this one, this one takes the cake. And I hope that you continue to draw. And I want to see more peoples by you because this is freaking kick ass. I love it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go into um, to chat and see what people have to say. Let's see. Okay, so um, Jelly says, awesome pastel, the anatomy, uh, detail, and line work is so good. Um, Autumn says, but amazing balls work. <laughs> um, Juan says, the lines in the composition is indeed very clean and elegant. Spookiness, yes. Um, Rihanna says, um, the intestines, yeah. Um, he then says, I like this as is, but if it's going to get shaded, it's going to be nuts. You may want to keep a clean one and a shaded one. That's very true. You can always, uh, you mm -hmm. could always scan it and then that way you have a clean version just in case. Um, Jesus says, I love those eyes and the, um, pro the proboscis. Um, the detail of the entrails is amazing too. Your skills are improving so much. I agree, Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, Arda Elia says this piece is so stylized. Love it. Exactly. Exactly. Um, <laughs> oh heck, you noticed it? Framed her head. Yes, yes I did. Was that on purpose? Because it's freaking beautiful. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's a great winged halo. Exactly. Um, Autumn says, it's too late, so be careful with words. Wait, what? We can't fully words. Oh, we can't. Oh, we, we, oh the words. We word good. We word good. <laughs> word, word amazing. <laughs> We're so good at this. <laughs> I was not about to draw boob nips. <laughs> Pastel, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> um, you always totally said that about my old man. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Pastel's taking everyone's cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are out of my comfort zone. I would not believe that, Pastel. Not Seriously. one bit. Like, this is a gorgeous piece and I can't wait to see more of your people 
Um, Brad says tongue looks like it's gonna whip and cut someone in a single movement, like a secret weapon that people won't expect catching them by surprise, lashing out the super fast. Yeah. You can be a biology major and still be an artist. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do both. Exactly. We were born an artist, a scientist, and a writer, is it? And a, uh, and a, so. an explorer. I think there's like, there's a, there, it's like several, and somewhere in there we we're only told we only could choose one, but that's a farce, it's a lie. You could be all of those right? things. Um, and we all need illustrators for medical uh, diagrams, so. Yeah, very true, very true. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna come back over here now, and uh, I'm gonna pull up this last piece in my email, so we can check it out. Unfortunately, Punky won't be able to see it until it's up on my stream. It's okay. And then, then we'll be doing our our voting, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh no, of course. The the link's not working. Uh, Creative Jenny, um, is there any way that you can uh, vampire? Sometimes I can guess the end of the... the uh, The link, I guess the end of the link. Okay, sweet. I always pat myself on the back when I can guess the end of your guys' links. Because if the links are too right. long, it cuts it off. So, um, mm. it didn't have the end of vampire, so I spelt the word vampire and then put JPEG at the end. So guys, keep that in mind when you submit, um, that it has... Y you need to keep your links as short as possible. As short as possible. So then that way, I get a full link. Um, but yeah, here we are. This one is uh, Creative Jenny's, and uh, Creative Jenny says um, the Manandigal has a feathered friend called the Tiki Tiki that looks around for a victim and calls out to the vampire. The further the claw, the closer the monster. Nice. Okay. Mm. Well, yeah. So, um, first off, I have to say that I really like her face. It is very creepy. I also like how you did her hair, like her hair, it comes down in strands. Um, again, like I like seeing all the growth and all the different ones that you do. Um, I think that you've, you've made some progress um, with your humans a lot, and I really love the way you drew her hands. So I also like how you added a little bit of your storytelling into this one, and um, knowing that you're a writer, um, I hope that you do more of those, because that's really exciting to be able to put in some of your writing into some of these pieces, and uh, your storytelling. And yeah, did you have anything that you wanted to add, Punky? Yeah, I love the fact that uh, you have like a vague silhouette with the, line, with the uh, light light work, also, can I say, I love the crow. I love him. He is my <laughs> new best friend. <laughs> like, I also really, I, I like the shape language and the negative space you used for her in this. I also really like the way, how uh, relaxed the hand next to her face is. Fantastic work there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, the pose is really cool Nobody's there. Nobody, um, but yeah, so... Uh, yeah, just looking at this, and um, thank you so much for submitting, and I really do like her eyes, too. She's got uh, some... Uh, see, I can actually zoom in on this one. I can't do it on my site. Um, but yeah, so she's got these like red eyes, and then she's got the uh, slants in them. So, oh. yeah, I do like that you put in those details, and like I said, I'm, I'm liking seeing your growth. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's check out and see what uh, what chat has to say. And thank you so much for that follow. Um, I didn't I didn't see who I <laughs> let's read chat and then I and then I'll thank you for the follow. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Do you want me to read chat this time? Yes, yes, that'll work. All right. So uh, Rihanna says, "Wow." 
And then uh, he then says, I dig this style. It's simple, but shows so much. Uh, Pastel says, this is awesome, Jenny. I love that you included the bird. Her face is so terrifying. And her fingers are bloody. Um, and Zeus says, love the pose. Vampiric in style. Very great work on the spine and intestines falling out. Yes. Um, sorry, just a second. Uh, Jelly says, great job, Jenny. I love the cr I love the crow, too. It makes me wonder the, s the story behind it. <laughs> uh, Zeus, oh. Do -do -do. Then, all right, I think, I think that is all of them for the moment. All right. But no, fantastic work. Yeah. And uh, thank you for the follow. Um, Sug Sugma, oh my gosh, nice name. Um, thank you for the follow. Let me know if you're a streamer and or artist. <laughs> <laughs> you see the name, don't you? I see it. I see it. <laughs> nice I name, dude. <laughs> All right, well, let us know if you're a streamer, Sagma. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not saying the rest of your name. Uh, but yeah, guys, we're, we're going to go into this part, which is really exciting because this is annual. Um, I'm blaming Punky for this gem of an idea. Um, we wanted to do something a little bit different for our voting this time around. So guys, the first three myths, your favorite myth posted in chats, will be the ones we vote on, plus me and Punky have one of our own. So we're gonna vote on five different myths. First, three myths in chats will be the ones we vote on. So we're gonna do this every annual, so you guys get to pick your favorite, and it can be, it could be, I don't know, like your favorite um, mythology, like, from a movie. It could, it could be, pick it. I'm here, ready to write them down, too. Alright. Fiona. I'm a streamer, but not under this name. And not on Twitch. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I'm at I see you. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we've got... Oh no. We've got Easter Bunny. Is that a real one? We're not voting on the Easter Bunny. <laughs> no. Yeah, it was top three. It was top three. So we got the um, Bo Boker Rider. The Bo is that what it is? Easter Bunny and an elf? You guys! <laughs> Pegasus, are these real? Did you guys really want us to do the Easter Bunny or an elf? Is this... I know Sly shit posting. Sly is shit posting. <laughs> he just wants everybody to draw uh, the nightmare fuel that was the Easter Bunny he had to pose with as a child. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're not doing Easter Bunny, Sly Eye, because I think you're shit posting. It's been it's been <laughs> clarified. So it's the um the bow boked rider um L for Pegasus. Those are the first three. Alright. Are we ready for my choice? Yes, what is your choice, Punky? Drum roll! I wanna do Shiva! Shiva? Shiva! Shiva! Okay. God. And I'm choosing Alucard. <laughs> because I'm lame and because I want to. Because I've been playing a lot of Castlevania, so Alucard it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let me, um, let me make a poll, and uh, while we're voting, then we'll also do the giveaway. So let's see. I gotta go to my Twitch thing. Twitch! See, I should have this open and ready, but I don't. Great choice. I am a woman of taste and class. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and I, I feel... I just want to do a fan art of Alucard. I feel like I'm being lame. 
Not at all. I just want to draw Shiva because, <laughs> like Hin Hindu Hindu mythos, to me is just absolutely. I lo I love reading through their mythos. So, and Shiva's my favorite. I okay, Shiva. I gotta look up. Uh, what was the What was the first one? Boy, boy, what? But uh, book writer. B O. B O K K E R J I D E R is what I wrote down. So tell me now. Mm, that's a restaurant. That's not helping. Um, Buck Riders? Is that what you were talking about? Um, are, are you. Did you do Buck Riders? I just want to clarify. Oh, thank you for the raid, Fonzie. Okay, so I think it was. Let me just clarify with Rihanna. Yes, Buck Riders. Okay, so Buck Riders uh, was one of the ones that um, came up in voting, and uh, we didn't actually vote for it. So, the first one is Buck Riders. I'm gonna put that in the uh, poll. Buck Riders. Second one was Elf. Uh, third one was Pegasus. Mm -hmm. Pegasus. Yeah, so the annual ones will just do that, where we where we just be ridiculous and just choose our faves. Mm hmm. And that way we can do some fan arts too, if we want to. Pegasus, and then how do you spell Shiva? E. Um, S H I V A. S H I V A Shiva. And then Alucard. Al. Alucard. Make sure I'm spelling Alucard right. All right. So uh, this poll is going to be going for five minutes. Um, I'm not going to give you guys any links for research. Uh, most of these we already know, especially the Buck Riders, because if you were here during the uh, the first the time we were voting and actually did uh, research it, we do know what a buck, the Buck Riders are. Hey Blockhead, welcome in. Bonk! What are you doing? You're supposed to be sleeping. <laughs> thank, thank you, Monk. Just underscore underscore Monk donated one hundred dollars. <laughs> Oopsie z z z z z z z Monk Granera Benz. He doesn't know how to leave well enough alone. That, that, that was him sleeping. Z z z z z z z. I wish I could hear it. Yeah. <laughs> and then Air Benz at the end. Okay, so um. Let me, uh... <laughs> Let me, uh, pull up the, uh... <laughs> the giveaway thing. And thank you so much, um, uh, Monk, for that dono. You don't have to do that, and I appreciate you. You're supposed to be sleeping, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Latch tools. Oh no, how do I spell it? Oh no! I don't know how to spell it anymore. It's been so long since I've used it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to move things around, find it. <laughs> Is that embarrassing that I don't know how to spell things? Let's Latch tools. Not at all. It's spelled all weird. It's like L A C H A A H H H H. I don't know. There it is. Okay, so let's put this up here. And we'll come back over here. All right, guys. Um, and this is for the um, hundred dollar Amazon card. The rules are, guys, you have to have at least 
25 hours watch time in my stream. 25 hours. And the reason why I started doing that is because we've had people that just followed and then X and A with it. So, <laughs> sorry guys, 25 hours. And uh, yeah, it's passion, guys. And uh, this is for, um, it's uh, for a US Amazon card for $100. Um, you're supposed to feed your passion with it. So, whoever wins. I think I've got, yeah, if you, if you do uh, specs, it should tell you how many hours how you play. have. Only yeah. 808. Yeah, you, you got lots. You, you don't need to worry. <laughs> Only 808. What am I doing with my life? What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, and I do- we do this every month, so, um, don't worry guys if you don't qualify this time around, uh, you'll qualify by next month. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry! I see all these people that don't qualify, I'm so sorry. Hi gang! Oh, I feel so bad, there's so many people that don't qualify this time around, I'm so sad. But no, guys, seriously, it's it's less than a week of watching the stream. And that and the reason why I did that is because we had somebody that um that didn't come to the stream very often, um and then didn't come back after. <laughs> so I'm just trying to avoid that. <laughs> Cause I want to give it to the community. Like that's what's important is to give it to the community and the people that are supporting you know, the artists and coming to the streams and be taking part, you know, and, and just being supportive. And so, yeah. And you guys... Uh, as soon as the, uh, as soon as we get our poll... Oh no, I didn't vote! Oh no, it's coming to an end and I didn't vote! Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I see there's a clear winner. Obviously, you have people in here that you paid, Punky. <laughs> Listen. She's bribing uh, people. <laughs> I did. I wasn't. Uh, Shiva won, if guys. I, if I was paying people, we would have done Mothman the first time he showed up. <laughs> That's true. Mothman had to be <laughs> voted on a second time. Okay, so guys, we are doing man. Shiva. So this next one is going to be Shiva. Honestly, I'm really excited to draw Shiva. She's one of my favorites. Um, yes, so I'm excited. So yeah, so Shiva is going to be the one that we're doing. And let's see who who wins this um, this gift card. And guys, if you do win, I will be checking your hours if you are unsure. Um, but yes. Hentai noodle? What? Why you gotta make me do the hentai noodle right now? <laughs> BJ! 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 Oh yeah! BJ is... <laughs> Yes, congratulations, BJ! <laughs> so BJ, um, if you're in my rigged... Excuse me? <laughs> uh, no, B if I had won, it would be rigged. <laughs> <laughs> so BJ, um, if you're in my Discord, um, please, uh, I, I think you have to friend request me. Or I can friend request you. I'm just going to just chatting and uh, type something and just chatting if you're in my Discord. Um, if not, then you might have to join the Discord. But um, just type something and so that way I can uh, I can friend request you and then you can get me your email so I can get that to you tonight. I just noticed your hentai noodle. <laughs> yes, yes, I got a hentai noodle on my head. This is what they make me do. <laughs> See? <laughs> It's a flaccid horn. <laughs> Funky. I'm just having the best time right now. That's a A what? <laughs> it is not, it's a horn. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, well, now I'm gonna look up a Shiva, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna wait until the hentai noodle is gone, and then I'm gonna have I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna say <laughs> I'm gonna say goodnight to Punky so she can uh, stop dying. <laughs> I don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all better not be in my chat counting them snorts. <laughs> I could just go like this, Punky. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard to freeze. I will whoop your ass like. <laughs> Alright. Well. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> No, no, Brad. Oh my gosh, it's got loot in here. It's got. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's because I can't even handle myself. <laughs> uh, Shiva is the god of uh, destruction and meditation and yoga. By the way. I did not know that. Alright. So yeah. So this is where... <laughs> don't, don't lie laughing, Punky. <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought you said Shiba? Oh, like the dog? No. <laughs> no. Alright, so... Anyway. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is this? What is this? What did I miss? It is a clip of me having an issue. <laughs> well, I want to watch the oh, issue. No, the first time you did the unicorn horn. Oh, it's the first time? The little horn? Darn magical dogs? No. <laughs> no. No, she was. <laughs> she was. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is where the uh, stream guys transitions to the normal stream. Um, Punky, uh, you can either stay or you you may leave either way, but uh, this is where the recording stops for YouTube. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. Um, like I said, I this is where I go and I start making the the assets and stuff where I plug them into my site on Insta and also on uh, Twitch. So, um, you guys are more than welcome to stay, but it's just gonna go to more of a more normal stream where, um, you know, I can communicate with you guys a little bit more and, uh, do all those things. So, what would you like to do, Miss Funky? <laughs> I am going to head out, because I gotta right. stretch my leggies, but thank you so much for letting me come in and join you on this. Yes, thank you for hanging out, and it was great to have you again. I was very excited. I'm like, by popular demand and on the annual. So, she, Punky was the first one to host. The first one to host. And a year later, she came back. So, exactly 12 months from the day she hosted, she's here again. I think that's awesome. What? I love it. Well, actually, not a year. Sorry, it's a year since this. She, she, she hosted the first one. Sorry. She hosted the first yeah. one, which was... Five months ago? But, but, yes, sorry, I misspoke, <laughs> but still, she's here for the annual and she was here for the first, so still, I still, I stand by that, it's awesome. Thanks guys for checking out this reveal stream, I hope you really enjoyed it, thank you for watching this, it supports all of the artists and I hope that you also are able to check out their sites and all of their links on the actual deadonstudios.com site. You guys are amazing, thank you for checking this out on YouTube as well, and you have a great night, and hopefully we'll see you for next reveal stream, which is going to be Shiva. So hopefully we have some good submissions there, and yeah, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful month, and see you next month.